Good morning, guys. I'm about to make my smoothie, but I just wanted to show you something real quick. If you guys own one of these rice cookers, the Aroma Digital Rice Cooker, what it comes with, hold on, it comes with one of these measuring cups. And if you have like a large bag of rice, you can just set it in there. But also, if you just like to keep a little rice out on, on hand, <coughs> sorry, and maybe keep the big bag away in your cupboard like we like to do, you use one of these large mason jars, fill it up with your rice, about three, four cups of rice, and then the little um, scoop fits on top. And then you can just screw on the lid. And I know some of you probably eat that amount of rice in a day, but if you don't and you just like to keep it out on your counter, an easy way to measure and store it, I just thought that was a neat little idea. And uh, now it's on to my smoothie. Okay, so this morning I'm going to go ahead and try the stuff that I showed you from my grocery haul last night, the HEB Juice Stand uh, Super Smoothies, and this one, this is what this one has in it. Again, it's no added sugar, so that's a good thing. This might be kind of nice to have something like this every once in a while. We're going to do hemp hearts today. I have one clementine left and one regular orange left. Those are from my old batch. I got some new ones. Um, some water, like three-ish bananas, and some baby kale. So let me start putting it all together. All right, I usually start off with my liquid first. I'm going to do a cup of this smoothie stuff. And I'll show you on the back, it has this little chart shows you like what's inside of it like how much you get um how many servings of whatever you get sorry i'm still a little tired there's a cup of that smells good kind of smells like baby food kind of tastes like baby food <laughs> well, that's pretty good and then some water. Another cup of water. I'll just finish this off. A little bit more than a cup. So this is going to be kind of a juicy, thin smoothie. I just use some of the Trader Joe's um, spring water. <clears throat> and then on the bottom, if I'm going to put dates in, I would normally put those in now. But since I have this juice, I'm going to hopefully that will be sweet enough. And then also on the bottom, I like to put my, um, my seeds that I'm going to use for the day, and today I'm using hemp hearts. I just have this little little ramekin and I fill it like three quarters of the way full. That's like two to three tablespoons. I'm going to add in the orange and the clementine. I'm going to pause here because that will take me just a minute to, to peel those. Alright, I got the orange and the clementine in there. Next is going to be, if I can get an angle, well you can kind of see my baby kale. I'll just do a good couple of big handfuls and smush it down in there. bought this yesterday and it's already starting to get some funky pieces. This is one of the reasons why I usually like to do just spinach when I'm trying to be good and rotate my greens so I might have to reconsider maybe getting the kale from Trader Joe's because it's usually pretty good from there. I'm a little bummed right now. So, yep. That's a bummer. Okay, well that one handful is good enough because I'm going to have to pick through the rest of that. That's kind of a bummer. I'll just get it from Trader Joe's from now on. I usually have good, better experience there. I just thought this is a nice big tub. It's a good price, but not a good price if I have to throw away half of it. And yes, I know I can go back to the store and return it or whatever, but I'm a little lazy. <laughs> so 
So I'm going to go ahead and blend this part up first, make sure everything gets all nice and blended, and then I'm going to add my bananas. Let's see. I'm hoping the light would change a little bit, but nope, it's not. Here we go. Alright, there it is. I'm sorry the lighting is so crappy. You can't see. There we go, the beautiful green color of that. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and give it a little taste. Make sure that it's going to be sweet enough for me. I'm just going to use a spoon. It's good. A little bitter from the from the kale, but nothing crazy. I am going to go ahead and put a couple of dates in there. I get these big tubs of dates from um, Costco. So they're not the medjool dates that are a lot bigger, they're a little bit smaller, but they're still just as good. And it's like eight bucks for three and a half pounds. I think that's how much it is. Something like that. So, sorry, you can't see anything that I'm doing. I'm gonna put this many. Sorry, my lighting's bad. There's my little dates in there. Let me wash off my hands because these are sticky. Now I'm going to blend that again and then I'll add my bananas. Last but not least, I just broke all my bananas up into little chunks. We're going to throw those in. And give her one last blend. Good morning. It's big, it's done. It's six cups of yumminess. And it's gonna be my breakfast. And I'm off today so I can actually take the time to enjoy it. I'm gonna give it a little taste with my straw. Mm. So those little juice box thingies are pretty good. I probably just wanna show you this one thing. On the back it shows you what's in an 8 ounce serving, so how much of each fruit that's in there. So I thought that was kind of cool so you can see everything you're getting. Anywho, don't forget to make your smoothies, make them big, love them, and uh, y'all have a good day and I'll see you later. Bye.